Hey, it's Buzz 60 Politics. I'm Jetty Dapper. Bubba, 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 bubba. Yep, the second night of the Democratic convention was all about one man, Bill Clinton. And he did exactly what you'd expect. He talked forever and he did it masterfully. But there were five and a half hours of other speeches before he took the stage. Here are the top three things you might have missed. Number one, epic fail. Somehow the party smarties left the word God out of the platform and the longstanding support for Jerusalem as the capital of Israel. That was bizarre enough, but how they fixed it? All those delegates in favor say aye. aye. All those delegates opposed say no. Aye. In the opinion of the, let me do that again. All those delegates in favor say aye. aye. All those delegates opposed say no. no. In the opinion of the chair, two thirds have voted in the affirmative. The motion is adopted, and the platform has been amended as shown on the screen. Okay, so they weren't booing God, but still. Number two, more God stuff. The Catholic sister behind the Nuns on a Bus tour opposing Paul Ryan's budget proposal, Sister Simone Campbell, was a big hit. Our faith strongly affirms that we are all responsible for one another. I am my sister's keeper. I my brother's keeper. Finally, number three, Ann Coulter and Sandra Fluke. Fluke's the grad student who became a Democratic heroine after a Republican congressional hearing on contraception featuring an all-male witness panel refused to hear her. And then Rush Limbaugh called her a prostitute, which Mitt Romney declined to denounce. She spoke at the start of primetime and conservative flamethrower Ann Coulter promptly tweeted, Bill Clinton just impregnated Sandra Fluke backstage. I'm sure Rush will have something to say about that. Buzz 60, now you know. Pass it on.